Renters seeking dwelling in the central business district of Makati, Taguig, and Pasig rebounded in the first quarter of 2022 as companies ordered to on-site work last April 1. Good day everyone, it's me again, Iyali, your host, and I am here again to bring you another real estate update. But before that, please do not forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to see more of our videos. It said in a statement that the challenge for the landlords that will house the workers returning to the office is to match the conditions the workers had grown accustomed to after up to two years of working from home. In a data report gathered from the first quarter of 2022, it was found that prospective CBD renters were split 60-40 between Metro Manila residents and those originating outside the capital, with a demographic renting age of 18 to 34 years old. The top generators of rental leads for CBDs were hinter cities of Mega Manila like Angeles, Antipolo, Bacoor, Calamba, and Lipa. Cebu City was on the ninth largest source of leads for Taguig and Baguio City was on the top 10 for Pasi. Metro Manila-based renters were most interested in condominiums, where areas Luzon-based were more evenly distributed between apartments and condominiums. And that's it everyone. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this quick video. Again, please do not forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to see more of our videos. Bye!